What's up guys? Now someone recently asked if it's okay to gain fat while you're bulking. Well, of course it's okay to gain fat because you're gonna gain fat regardless when you're bulking. When you consume an excess amount of calories, what happens is some of it gets stored as fat, right? Some of the unused calories. Some of it gets used for bodily fun functions such as, you know, building muscle, which is what you want. However, the problem that people encounter is that they take this as an excuse or as a ticket to embark on the dreamer's bulk. They think that just because they're bulky, they're now able to eat as many calories as they want and all those calories are going to get directed directly into their muscles. Well, that doesn't work. This bullshit has been around the community for 20 years now or longer than that because a lot of the bodybuilders in the early days, in the heydays of bodybuilding, when people saw these guys getting swollen and huge, the first thing they asked is, how are you doing it? And instead of telling the people the truth, which was that they were taking a cocktail of steroids and growth hormones and whatnot, it's, it was far easier to give people an answer that they could relate to. These guys said that they were eating eight to 10 meals a day. They were eating a lot of calories and that's why they were getting huge. Now, what really happens when you eat that many calories, if you're doing it naturally, is that a lot of it gets turned into fat, right? Your body builds muscle on its own time frame. You cannot accelerate this process. Just because you're eating a lot of KFC does not mean that your biceps or your arms are gonna grow to 18 inches. Maybe 18 inches of fat, but no muscle. Muscle takes time. Your body doesn't want to build muscle. It doesn't, it's not the best thing it can do with its calories. It's just a byproduct of what happens when you have excess calories and you're actually tearing down the muscle fibers it's in a requirement for the body, so it takes time. It's not something. It's far easier for the body to make fat or store fat than to build muscle. So when you're actually bulking, you need to take this in consideration. Don't worry about the scale so much like what a lot of people do. Just focus on progressing in your lifts, progressing in the gym, and focus on actually having a small caloric surplus because that's all you need. You reach a point diminishing returns once you get to a certain point. So it's really important that you don't overdo it. A lot of people overdo it and they end up getting too fat, they get stretch marks all over their skin. And the worst thing about it is that they build fat cells, right? When you get fat, you build fat cells. So when you start losing the weight now, it's a lot harder to keep the weight off. As soon as you start eating a little bit more calories, the fat comes right back on. That's why you see a lot, you hear these stories about people that are 200 or 300 kilograms but cut down to 100 kilograms then they regain all their weight within one year it's because they had the fat cells you don't want to build these unnecessary fat cells if you can prevent it so make sure you have the right caloric surplus when you're bulking i suggest 200 to 300 will be adequate just remember it's a lengthy process so don't try to rush things and that's how you minimize fat during bulk